Lee from Change for ME with the second part of my visit to hospital video series and I just want to start by saying that my plan to uh, pinpoint flaws in the health system in regards to people with ME CFS is not designed just to whinge and moan but rather to look at some issues that perhaps we can find some solutions to and actually help people. So um, the first issue that I've encountered really uh, was before I even left the house to get here. Um, I needed to be brought here by ambulance and my doctor organised that and had informed them that they would need to carry me down the stairs from my house to the ambulance. And uh, when they arrived they actually refused to carry me down the stairs and uh, I had a 20 minute argument with them to explain why I couldn't actually walk down the stairs when I look like I'm okay. So uh, issue number one really was that I should have been more prepared. I should have had some documentation printed out that um, explained a bit about my condition um, and specifically what my issues are. Uh, for me it's um, uh, POTS or orthostatic intolerance so I can't be upright without uh, causing tachycardia and also I get very extreme post-exertion on the laced and doing simple tasks so walking downstairs would certainly land me in bed all, all day for the next day or two afterwards um, so yeah I think uh, once I'm out of hospital uh, one of the things that will go on the agenda for change for ME will be to design some sort of brochure or flyer or document that um, explains uh, some of these issues so that uh, you could just give it to your carer or healthcare professional or whoever it is that's coming to assist you so that they have an understanding of why you can't do something when you say you can't do it rather than them just thinking you're an idiot so that's step one uh, okay I'll be back soon with some more information about my process here in hospital and uh, what's going on thanks